kinematics is the one which deals with the motion where exactly we study the motion but not their cause always we just write the exam for 100 marks so where did this 70 marks and what about it so it is all about your practicals your practical session consists of the 30 marks you have to write the answer in such a way that you are writing it for three marks that is short answer questions Hello everyone, I am Rinda, Faculty of Physics from Vidyashram School of Excellence, Mysuru, welcoming you all to the class 11 introductory class. So in today's class, we are going to deal with our subject and the subject is physics. So subject we are dealing with the contents, question paper, pattern and ability to understand and produce okay so what are the contents in a textbook so what is that you can see the contents in the textbook you have to use your ncert prescribed textbook okay for class 11 it is ncert textbook what you use now you have got unit 1 physical world and measurement chapter okay so that is the first unit call it as physical world and measurement wherein you will deal with units measurements physical world how this physics came into existence what is meant by science how is the science is termed and from where you have got the word called as physics what are the discoveries inventions and the measurement that is SI unit CGS unit MKA system all this system we just use in this in case of the measurement the dimensions as well second chapter is something more from this first chapter that is kinematics kinematics is the one which deals with the motion okay kinematics is the one which deals with the motion where exactly we study the motion but not their cause okay so here you have third chapter and fourth chapter motion in a straight line and motion in a plane and the third chapter is all about that is the third unit is all about laws of motion that means here you study few laws that is Newton's laws of motion first law second law third law conservation of momentum all these things will be studied under laws of motion fourth unit consists of work energy and power where we deal with the same concept for chapter 6 we study about the work we study about the energy we study about the power and fifth unit is motion of the particles and rigid body this unit that means the chapter 7 system of particles and rotational motion is a very new topic to you other than that rest all other topics you have already studied you have those topics are familiar to you okay because that is the topics you have already studied in your previous classes that is class 10 and class 9 okay so you have that from first unit that is physical world till your fourth unit work energy and power it consists of 23 marks this is the marks allotted for four units four units consists of all six chapters from here to here all six chapters it is 23 marks what is used okay next one chapter 7 this is a new chapter which has been introduced so your focus should be more under this chapter okay next we are going on to gravitation that also concept you have already studied we call it as chapter 8 it is gravitation so system of particles and rotational motions as well as gravitation chapter consists of 17 marks next we are going on to unit 7 properties of bulk matter so which are those bulk matter solid fluids and thermal properties means you study about the temperature ga gaseous states as well as the temperature so you have bulk matter means these are the chapters which comes under it chapter 9 10 and 11 well 11th chapter and finally you have unit 8 thermodynamics that is chapter 12 thermodynamics 9 behavior of perfect gases and kinetic theory of gases is studied under chapter 13 kinetic theory which includes the theory of gases we study something more about the gaseous states 
and finally we deal with oscillation and waves chapter 14 oscillations chapter 15 is said to be waves okay so the complete package of the contents is all over for the 70 marks what you write the paper wherein here you have 20 marks and 17 marks 20 marks is allotted from unit 7 till unit 9 and finally your unit 10 has got the marks allotted is 10 marks okay so these are the contents what you will have to know which are the contents and which are the units given over here and how many units consist of what are the marks which is allotted will be the main thing what you will have to consider and after the checking of the contents we will have to check up how is the question paper set what are the general instruction we need to know in case of the question paper so here the total marks is allotted for how many marks it is for 70 marks okay the total marks is 70 marks so you might question always we just write the exam for 100 marks so where did this 70 marks and what about it so it is all about your practicals your practical session consists of the 30 marks okay so that includes overall your practical whichever you do the experiments your assignments all these the project work whatever you consider all these comes under this 30 marks okay so now here you are writing the theory for 70 marks and the time allotted to write theory is three hours in three hours you will have to write the theory and how is the question paper set all questions are compulsory you will have to know all questions are compulsory you will have 33 questions minus one or plus one either of the two will be there we can't predict how many exact questions are there so now you have 33 questions in all it's a general standard one so question paper has five questions that is five questions sections it has got so which are those sections section a section b section c and section d these sections are there and finally you have section e so you have got five sections section a b c d e okay and then there are no overall choices overall choices are not present but there might be choices in between the questions but choices given to only certain questions and you will have to attempt either of those two questions and not something else which are of your own choice okay so now question paper pattern in section a how exactly the question paper is given 10 very short answer questions are given and 4 assertion type of questions are given that is which carries 1 mark as assertion types means the one where you use like give reason kind of things okay section b this is all about section a what happens to section b here it includes two case based questions of 4 marks there is case based questions for 4 marks in case of section b Section A is very short answer questions with, the, with four assertion types and in section 2 it is case based type of questions wherein you will have two case based type of questions and which carries four marks and now we are going to the third part that is section C nine short answer questions and each carries two marks you will have to write an answer such that you get two marks two marks questions nine questions will be there for section C. Next is D part that is section D you have 5 short answer questions which carries 3 marks. Okay, you have to write the answer in such a way that you are writing it for 3 marks that is short answer questions. Next is section E that is the 5th section 3 long answer questions each carries 5 marks. 5 marks means it is always a very long answer questions. So this is the skeleton of the question paper. So this is all about your CBSC part that is analyzing and execution. First of all, you will have to know the contents of your subject. First of all, you will have to have physics, your subject. You have to check your textbook, two of your textbooks. You have two textbooks part 1 and part 2 for your first PUC. You will have to check both also and see its contents. What are the units? Under these units, what are the chapters which arise? 
okay you have to check on it you have to analyze and study each and every concept your questions in the question paper is not very direct it is applicative level and it is very complicated in order to apply all those applicative level applications you need to know the theory only if you know the base if your base is strong or your foundation is strong it is very easy for you to crack any of the competitive exam that is all you have to do analyze the subject analyze the contents observe what are the contents go get into the core of the contents which is present in each and every chapter start solving the numericals applicative level numericals old question paper numericals listen to the class carefully and finally you will end up with a good marks or good scoring so you first you have to check the syllabus have knowledge about the question paper pattern and syllabus for that you will have to watch this session completely next understand the concept and create your own imaginary view using the details given first of all imagination is must and should for a student that is a science student the imagination is must and should so that you can apply in all different ways only by using the foundation you have next finally give a wonderful output which in return provides you full package of marks got it so that is all you have to do it is not too very difficult to understand the contents understand the question paper pattern understand what does section a contain section b contain section c section d and section e contains containing all those things you can see what are the things each section contains and finally you can just get into the examination so in today's introductory part we have studied contents that is the syllabus marks or the weightage what it what each contents carries question paper pattern as well as the general instruction for you to understand so that's all for today let us all meet in our next upcoming session with a new chapter until then have a good day thank you